What's going on, my ASVAB party people? Anderson here, your ASVAB coach, and we've got ourselves a nice little word problem here that many would consider a challenge problem. But this has to do with area and perimeter, and I'm going to show you how to handle a problem like this. That way, whenever you see anything similar, you can at least have that experience to understand how things might play a part. Remember, the goal here is not to memorize the questions, but to instead understand the situation that you're reading about. That way, if you do see something similar, you can at least use some of the same strategies to get it done. But it is not, again, it is not about memorizing how to do this one and hope that this problem will be on the test. If you've been there before, if you've been in a position where you've tried to memorize questions hoping they'll be on the test or memorizing formulas without actually knowing how to use them, then allow me to go ahead and walk you through straight up how to get these done. So let's get started here. We have the question being, what is the area of the border? Notice how I started with the question itself and not the entire story. Remember, word problems will generally ask you exactly what you're looking for. And there it is right there, right there. What is the area of the border? Okay, sounds good. So we're looking for area of border equals blank. Now, typically here's what happens my party people. Typically, if you're talking about area, well, you might be talking about a shape, right? So let's find out what shape we're dealing with. Let's find out what dimensions we're dealing with. Let's find out the numbers. That way we know what formula to apply and in what way we should be applying it. So if when in doubt, draw it out. I'll show you exactly what I mean by that too. So here we go. A rectangular painting has a border that is two centimeters thick on all sides. The painting itself has a length of 12 centimeters and a width of eight centimeters. And that's it. That's all we're given. So how do we find this uh, answer here? Well, watch this. So we know that we have a rectangular painting right here. We're told the shape, which is awesome to see. We have the shape, so let's draw that rectangle. Right there, cool. Right there, sweet. So we have a rectangle, and then it says a border that is two centimeters thick right there. So a border that's two centimeters thick. So what I can possibly do here is, let me just go ahead and duplicate this make this a little smaller and that's how I'm going to present it right because if you're looking at a painting a rectangular painting and you have the border that's two centimeters thick okay cool there's our two centimeters on either side two centimeters two centimeters just like that and so notice what I'm doing I'm drawing the situation now so I can get a clear and good picture of what's going on don't ever try to just take the numbers and single Hail Mary and then just try to multiply them together and hope for the best. That's not going to go well. We want to truly understand what we're looking at. And so next, we see that the painting itself, so here's the border, and it says the painting itself right over here has a length of 12 centimeters and the width of 8 centimeters. So I'll go ahead and mark that out. I'll mark that right here. I'll say from here to there, that's 12 centimeters. And then from here to here, that was lovely. From here to here, I'm gonna call that eight centimeters, right there. So what am I doing here? What I'm doing is again, drawing a situation out. I have my border, I have my painting, my dimensions and everything. Now, what do I need to do? Remember, what I need to do here is find the area of the border, this piece here. We want this area right there and there and here and here. We want that area. That's what we want. And so with that said, what do we do? Here's the thing. What we can do is we can find the area of the whole painting and then subtract this area here, just that middle area. So what does that mean for us? Well, here's what we can do. I can go ahead and say, hey, if this from here to here, that's 12, well, let's add two and add two. What's that gonna be? Well, what that's gonna be is it's gonna be 16 centimeters because if you add the two centimeters on the other side, you're gonna have 16. Next up, if you have eight over here, well, what's gonna happen there is you're gonna have yourself, well, here and there. So you're gonna add your two here and add your two here and that's going to give you 12. So your length and width of the entire painting is 16 and 12. And then if you find the area of the whole thing, so if you find the area of all of it, you're going to have 16 times 12, which is going to be what? 
Well, 16 times 12 is going to be 160 plus 32, which is 192 centimeters. Sounds great. Cool. Now, what's next? If we have 192 centimeters for all the area, let's find the area of just this piece here. Well, that area, the area of the paint or the painting, that's going to be 12 times 8, which is going to be 96 centimeters. So my big old head's in the way, but I think you know what we need to do now. What we need to do now is going to be this. We now need to go ahead and subtract those areas. That was the plan, right? We only wanted this area here. So that meant we had to find the whole area and then take away that middle piece. So what does that look like? Here's the whole area. Here's the middle piece. And let's do some math here. 192 minus 96. That's going to give you what? That's going to give you, well, 96. That's going to give you 96. 96 what? 96 square centimeters. And that's what makes B the correct answer. Now, my Porter people, if you liked what you just saw, I need two favors from you. One, like this video, comment on it, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And number two, consider my ASVAB All Access program. Long story short, if you like the way that I solve these videos and show you these unique problems and new problems, I have a ton of these. I have thousands of extra practice problems to help you build your confidence. I have live classes and the recordings to make sure you can learn 24 seven. And I'll offer my support all the way until you pass because you can text me whenever you need help. You can text me when you need help, make a study plan, need some extra motivation. I got you all the way through. My job is to make sure you succeed and I love doing my job well. So with that said, my party people, Again, I'm Anderson, your ASVAB coach. This right over here is the ASVAB All Access Program because tonight, if you're watching this video the day it came out, we have a class, a two-hour class on this. So I would love for you to join. Go ahead, check things out. You can go to my website, duranlearning.com, or you can text me 567-698-8867 to learn more about the program to see if it's for you. Otherwise, hope you have a great day because at the end of the day, I want to see you ace the ASVAB and get that job you deserve. I'll see you soon, my poor people. Anderson out.